Hey guys, it's Chandra. It's the afternoon, so no coffee today. <laughs> but um, I just thought I'd throw a PSA out there. Because I've been trying to spend more time outdoors. And came down to Kent Park today. I'm on the Bowstring Arch Bridge. And a lot of people out here today. In fact, somebody is coming down the road. Hello. a lot of people out here because it's a beautiful day today and my little PSA is take advantage of some of your state parks and stuff surrounding you in the past week I've gone to Knoll Ridge Park in Cedar Rapids um, just for lunch went there a couple of times I also went to Sugar Bottom which is over by North Liberty Solon area and those are beautiful area and today I'm at Kent Park over by Kent Park. so I'm trying to choose beautiful locations while I can really enjoy that. And a lot of people are today too. In fact, I could have parked closer to this bridge. I kind of forgot about it. And I thought, oh, well, I'll just walk down there. Beautiful day. I'll take a little walk. And I kind of made two friends. I'll have to, <laughs> I'll have to put up a picture because I actually took a picture of them. They said, if anyone asks, their names are the two old men. And they had their walking sticks. And we talked for 10, 15 minutes. Hey Shannon! So we talked a bit and it was just funny because they were giving each other a hard time and they said they were the two old men. They were funny. They were awesome. Asking me what I was doing and everything and they said, are we going to be on Facebook? And I said, ah, oh, you might. So I'll have to post the picture of them. But um, I chose this area and I should show... yonder. I already went over that one. But I like this one the best. So that's what I came to. Okay. So I came to this bridge area. There's seven bridges here. And I think it's a really cool story because these are all bridges that used to be in different counties in Iowa. And they were deemed unsafe or dangerous to use in that capacity. So they brought the seven historical bridges here, and there's a walking loop. You go around and you can read about each bridge. This is, happens to be the oldest one, the, the Bowstring Bridge, and it's kind of curved up and over. It's a really cool bridge. It is, Shannon. It's beautiful. So I want to come here, and I want to just think about that. They took something that they could have just, you know, taken and crashed and crumpled up and maybe recycled the metal, but they still had a use. And this is a new use. This is a, an awesome use because it's beautiful and you can come and enjoy them and enjoy history, enjoy architecture, enjoy nature all at the same time. And think about things in your life that might be, you know, not working as they are. Maybe not dangerous, but they aren't, they aren't working. They aren't working well. They're not up to date. And can you use them in a different way? Just a thought. Just wanted to throw that out there. That's pretty much my message today. Because like I said, these bridges are beautiful. They brought them all in, I think by helicopter, and they placed them. And while you're exercising or spending time with your family, you can go around and see all of these. And they're not dangerous to use. Lori, I am at Kent Park by Tiffin. I love this place. I've come here multiple times. And you can go all the way around. I'm not sure how long the trail is. It's not real far, but you know, you can stop and look at the ducks or whatever. There's actually a beach in the summertime you can go and swim. Not today. It's actually closed because it's autumn. But it's it's just a cool concept. Take something that was dangerous, not being able to be used, they were going to get rid of them, and then they put them in a setting that is totally usable, beautiful, and it nurtures your soul. So what things can you tweak in your life that give you that change? 
and you might meet a couple friends on the path which I did earlier. The two old men, they are self-proclaimed two old men with their walking sticks. <laughs> so you never know who you're going to meet or who you're going to run into. So just get out there. Get out and enjoy this fresh air. It's important. We're indoors way too much. And that is one goal of mine is to be outside more. Even when it gets colder, be outside more because we're supposed to enjoy this beauty. I'll just do a little swing around one more time so you can see across. And I will end with that. And there's another couple coming, so I'm just going to sign off. But uh, like, comment, share, and I'm going to put this on YouTube later. So love y'all. Talk to you later.